Hello there. In this demo, we're going to demonstrate how you can work with Azure Open AI services. So, to start with, let us click on this completions. In the completions, you will see the models which we have created and you can work with the predefined examples and start working on it. If you would like to classify text, you can just simply click on generate and the text will be simply generated for you that hey, you want to understand major relate, uh, retailer announces plan to close over 100 stores. So what is this category? This category is business. So that's a classification uh, text um, based on this model which we have created here. You can undo this as well. That is what you have generated. You can regenerate if you don't like the response. You can continue regenerating the response if you don't like it. On the right hand side, you see certain parameters. So temperature is something if you increase that temperature, it will increase the efficiency or you say it will increase the uh, ideas. I mean, it will increase the creative response if you increase the temperature. So simply lowering the temperature means that the model will not produce more repetitive. The model will produce more repetitive uh, response. So if you want some more uniqueness, so uh, you need to increase the temperature. That simply means more processing. So if the temperature is high, it simply does the more, more and more processing and you will get a good responses. So it's up to you while you train or while you mod um, fine tune the model, you need to adjust these parameters again. You can increase the token length. So basically what token is uh, token is simply as we have discussed it's just a character. So you can increase the value of this token or decrease max to max. You can put 4000 token over here. Then we have you can put a top P or a top probabilities meaning similar to the temperature. If you uh, increase this, uh, I mean increase the top P or a top probability that will let your model choose from the token both with the high and low likelihood so basically if you have a high top p it simply means that you will get a more creative response so these are the certain parameters which you can play around and change and fine tune what model suits you best what parameter suits you best then we have a view queue code here you can see the code and we can uh, write this code in our visual studio and start working with it so this is written in Python, but you can select these language. For example, you're working in C sharp. You can select the C sharp and the code will display. You don't need to write anything here. The API which you will be using is being used and you can utilize it. So I just need to copy this code and start working in my visual studio. Then uh, that, that's the first part we have covered as completion. Then again, you will see the chart. So in the chart, it's basically a bot which has been created. So you need to create a model which is based on a GPT turbo. So in case if you don't know, I mean, we can create, I mean, you can create that model. Just click on the deployment, click on the new model. And here you can select the GPT turbo, which we have already select. So by that, if you do that, you will have this chart GPT model created for you. And you can fine tune based on the conversation. You can start the conversation and in return, you will get a response. So for example, I'll just uh, mention the some statement. Give me itinerary for trip to Dubai. So it will give you the itinerary for that particular uh, ask which you have mentioned. So it's gonna uh, mention all those details. Because if if you see uh, I am making uh, I mean you can consider this bot to be of any type. So current considering is it's a travel uh, you need a bot for a travel. So it is giving you that particular uh, uh, itinerary for that particular place. So that's what we do. And uh, I mean you can select the parameters as well. Like uh, as you can see my deployment is I have created the GPT turbo with the first model deployment name so you can select it and you can uh, rem I mean make the temp to the variation in the temperature or in the top P as well so more the temperature is more the creative response you will get M lesser the temperature you will get some repetitive response and higher the probability will be good for your model though it it may take some time but it will 
give you more accuracy here it is telling in the next settings past message included so how much uh, number of past message you would like to include so you can set this setting as well the parameters and the based on your uh, current uh, discussion you can uh, i mean with the bot it is the estimator that how much current token count will be for your next conversation so that's what about the chat uh, and now if you see the deployment we have seen many times you can create a deployment by selecting the model name here for example i'm creating a query model and you can give the query uh, model name query model i'll just name it and hit create so by that way you will be simply able to create a new model query model which we have created likewise if you would like to delete this model for example you just click on delete and it will delete this particular model from this place likewise you will see the column options you can add the column here or uh, remove if you would like to remove any column you can remove that so for example i'm removing this created by so now the created by thing is being gone in from here from the column name so it's just a, a setting which you can change then uh, we have this three dots you can open this in a playground so playground is nothing but where you fine tune the model which we have seen that is a completion we have already seen the deployments then in the next part we have the model so these are the models which we have created or you say these are the models which are available here so you can see that code the vinci model i have deployed this model uh, here let me just resize it here i mean we just here uh, make this change here so yeah here it says deployable it says no because model can only have one deployment at a time so i have already have this deployment if you see code the vinci 002 if i go to the deployment if you see code the vinci 00 is already presented so i cannot create a new model on this because it's not deployable because i have already created this model uh, so i cannot create it right so these are the uh, the models which is available for my apis you can also customize the model here by pro providing these details i mean it's exactly the same thing which you have seen in the completion so it i mean you can customize the model by here or just go to the completion and do the customization here as well so that's much pretty about the models then in the next we see a file management in the file management you can upload a new data set as we were discussing that um, if you would like to fine tune the model for example you are fine tuning the model by uh, writing this text and just chatting with the, or just uh, fine tuning this model by doing some conversation with the bot likewise you can provide the sample data by just clicking on upload a new data set you can upload the file by clicking on drag and drop or you can provide a blob path as well so if you have a, a predefined uh, data set presented in your blob so you can define that particular blob over here from here as well so once the data is uploaded your model will be getting fine-tuned based on the data which you have provided so that's the overview of the azure open ai studio i hope you liked it and in the next we're gonna deep dive further so please stay tuned and let me know in case you have any feedback. I will be happy to improve. Thank you. I will see you in the next.